Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to the first video of the 2022-23 season in League 2. It's one that I'm cautiously optimistic about. Recruitment needs to be spot on this summer, but before we get recruitment, we have got the official home shirt release. It was released at an event last night and I think it's very nice, but in this one we're going to have a closer look at it. I've put a little montage together and we'll speak about it after the montage, but... I am very happy. This was last season's kit. Let's have a look at the newly released 2022-23 Doncaster Rovers home shirt. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything So there we have it, a closer look at the 2022-23 Doncaster Rovers home shirt. As I said at the beginning, I am loving this home kit. I like the new addition of the collar, uh, the little bit of a v-neck here. Um, Club Doncaster has been removed. It is now Oxen, which is part of Elite Pro Sport. That is the make of the kit. Eco Power, which is the stadium sponsor, are also sponsoring front of shirt, which I think is a great thing. We have got our identity back as well. I was a fan of last season's home, home shirt. I thought it looked classy. I thought it looked nice. It wasn't Doncaster Rovers. I understand that stance from a lot of fans. It was too red. It did have white hoops, in my opinion. Um, but I can see where the fan base were in terms of losing the identity. But you can't argue this is hoops. Hoops on the sleeves. Um, last year's home shirt, I didn't like the name and number on the back. You couldn't see it. So I think the back of this shirt being a blank white canvas... Uh, the names and numbers will be very very easy to see if I were to be critical on this kit um, it would be the badge so I will bring that a little bit closer I am a fan of fully embroidered badges this reminds me of the FBT kind of kits where it had the uh, the gold um, outline around the badge and then the badge was kind of stuck on this feels higher quality than the FBT stick on um, it is a fabric badge, but I just prefer a fully embroidered badge. But that's just me being critical on the kit. But as an overall kit, I am buzzing with it. And I'm, this has made me look forward to the away kit even more. Because if they knock that one out of the park like they have with this one, I'll be buying both. I've already bought this one. Um, yeah, very, very happy with it. So, uh, so, yeah, this is the home shirt. If you want the away shirt review with a similar montage... In the comments down below but if you've enjoyed this one stick a big thumbs up on it for us please comments in the section down below if it's not kit related still get it in there and um, if you haven't already please click that subscribe button plenty of content coming your way i'm going to do a preview for league two that's coming up soon um, and the format of that will be shown in due course and then obviously match previews match day vlogs and sunday league reviews live streams as well so plenty of content coming your way so if you're not yet subscribed please do so Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.